<laughs> what's going on guys shy clips here once again and today we're gonna see some crazy clips of the worst dates i can find now like always guys my favorite clip will be at the end so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it but in this first one it is definitely insane basically we have this woman over here she is going absolutely crazy during this date i really do hope this is fake just to post this on social media is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> And this next one, I guess this guy over here is on a date with this woman. And let's just say he did not hold back with her at all. And I'm not going to lie, he was kind of violating her, but she didn't seem to care. Do you want to try mine? This is a different flavor. Don't know where that mouth spin. Mine? Yeah. If you want to try it, you can. Alright. Alright? What, yours? <laughs> yeah. Don't know where that mouth spin. Well, where do you think it's been? I don't know. I don't know. I and mean, you've gone on lots of dates, ain't you? Been on a fair few. Yeah. <laughs> in this next one, I do feel bad for this guy. I guess he is complaining about modern day women and how he actually went on so many dates this year just to waste all of his money and feeding all of these useless women. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel like that nowadays, and this is the reason why men just don't care about dating anymore. We really do feel like we're being used the entire time. Dating, I can't do it. The dating world's so bad, I can't. Do I got food pantry stamped on my forehead? Somebody answer me that question because the amount of food and mouths I fed going out on dates, that's how I feel. I could give hams to the homeless this yeah. year for Christmas with the amount of mouths that I fed going out first. I could be driving a Ferrari. I could be driving a Ferrari right now with the amount of money I spent on first dates. I can't take it anymore. And listen, I get it. They're frustrated because they're doing what they think they're supposed to be doing. They are putting a lot of time and effort and money into the first date. But when ladies don't appreciate that and they go into those first dates with very low energy and very little reciprocation, the date is not going to go well. In this next one, I absolutely hate this clip. This woman is trying to justify her hoe phase, saying that she needed to go through in order to date the person that she wants to today. There is absolutely no reason a woman should ever go through a hoe phase. Having those one night stands will not benefit you in the future. I don't care what you say i had to go through my 25 relationships Holy. before mm -hmm. being with brandon and i think also i remember Holy. like i was with so many different types of people that i think i really learned what i did and didn't like and then i had this six month gap where i was alone for the first time that i had ever just genuinely like not been in like been with anybody and this is actually this guy absolutely humbled this woman he was on a date with apparently she keeps thinking that she's a really bad woman and she's super attractive however this guy decided to do this to her on the next date and let's just say it just didn't end well how about you wipe that pain off your face and then see if you still got that same confidence when you talk to her. See, I met this one female out. I don't know if she was drunk or not, but she kept saying, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch. I'm like, all right, bet. let's go out, let's enjoy ourselves, let's have a good time. But leave that shit off. Leave the wig, leave the makeup, leave the eyelashes, leave the eyeliner, leave all that shit off, let's go out, let's have a good time. She wouldn't do it. But I thought you said you was a bad man. What you should say is, I got a bad costume on. And I would respect that. And this next one, we have this guy over here. I guess he's asking all of these women how much their engagement ring should cost. Now, this is actually surprising to have two different opinions in the same friend group. The girl to the left is actually pretty reasonable, but the girl to the right is absolutely delusional. Please listen. Hey, how much should a guy spend on a ring for you? Oh. What's the minimum? Okay, uh, like 800. Hey, you f***ing humble? I like that. Uh, yeah. I like that shit. <laughs> You deserve everything. Right? Hey, not, everything. Too much, yeah, yeah. not too much. Not too much. Will you accept that? Oh hell yeah! Yeah. yeah. No la comes. How much would you want a guy to spend on a ring on you? Uh, like twenty k. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Oh <laughs> hell no. Twenty k? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, because I, because it can't leave me until it's not paid off. She did a bit. Oh, that's your that's your. At least I'm gonna make twenty k worth. Wait, what if he cheats on you? Are you keeping that ring? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm pawning that shit after he leaves me. I said. <laughs> I ain't spending 20k on you, but. Oh, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> hey, at least hey that's why he ain't getting none of this. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it though. Reject. And this next one, I can't stand women like this who actually like when men cry. However, when they cry just a bit too much, it's a red flag. Like you literally sound like a red flag. How do you not realize that? Why are you crying that hard? Like all that tells me is that you did some shisty stuff during the whole relationship. Please don't cry too much. Please don't cry too much. She's gonna get the ick if I cry too much. Like, I don't wanna boohoo cry. I just, I just need to cry a little bit. Cause if I over cry, she's gonna think it's a red flag. <laughs> like what? 
And this next we have Brian from the Whatever Podcast. I guess a girl really likes him and even says that she would date him. However, he decides to reject her completely in front of everyone and literally just explicitly says why she just can't date him. He was 100% correct. It's actually such a waste because this girl is genuinely beautiful and really does seem to have a great personality. But this just goes all out the window once you realize what she did in her past. You really can't have an excuse for it or any exceptions. I'm sorry. Violet, chat ships you and Brian. Would yep. you date him? Yes. You're a very pleasant girl, very attractive girl. However, because you have done for that sole reason, I would not date you. The thing is, Violet, you're actually a very pleasant person. You're very Thank attractive. You. Thank you. You're five foot, you're five feet, right? Yes. Yeah, I like short women, so that's good. But because you've done adult content, I would not date you. Got a weed not, I'm not saying anything about you seem like a fantastic person, but just on that sole metric, there's videos of you online. I would just, I couldn't deal with that in a relationship. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I mean, everyone has their personal preferences. I'm not asking anyone to accept me for whatever, but. Um, or associate with me, but I get it. I totally get it. And this next one swim is absolutely delusional. If a girl ever says anything like this, understand she's 100% a gold digger and doesn't care about you or your personality. Before you slide in my DMs, ask yourself, can I see myself spending all my money on her? If the answer is no, don't slide in my DMs. And this next one's girl is absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand how some women can make up these random numbers in their head. I think that these men genuinely exist because trust me, they don't. Your ideal age in a dude. Um, I would say probably, um, like 18 and just 18. And what race do you prefer them to be? Um, uh, any, all of them. Is no. That, is that the true answer? No, it is. Okay. I, like, right. that's, that's, no, I that's fine. You, the more, you make the, the rules. More, the more people, the more probability I have. I like that. I like that. Okay. And your ideal height? Um, 6'1". Six 6'1", one. Six one, no shorter than that. No shorter, no taller, just 6'1". And minimum income that he makes in a year? 300 grand! Okay, yeah, no, for sure, yeah, totally. Well, the probability of you finding true love is, um, 0%. Oh. And that's what you... you I and this next one, I guess, is guys trying to get to know this girl under 60 seconds. And let's just say she ends up saying that she's really adventurous. However, I guess she just really wants to use this guy for free trips and just traveling the world. This guy instantly realized it and saw it as a red flag. Riley. Riley, where you from? Kentucky. Mm, what you like to do, Riley? Okay, I like to have fun. What but kind of fun? Um, like adventures? Like, yeah. flats? Yeah, definitely adventures. I like... You ride all the rides? Not that, but I'm seeing like traveling and... But... And like... Everything is what you okay then. Besides, you know, fucking this. <laughs> like, what else? Like, you want to have? <laughs> like, what, what adventures? Like, like you like to ride a horse or? <laughs> so, I don't know if I can eat at a at a table with her. She be like, she gonna say some crazy. Shit. I'm gonna take her to my Duke's house. Oh, Thanksgiving. In this next one, I absolutely hope this is fake. Basically, we have this guy over here. I guess he's offering this couple a thousand dollars just to break up, and I guess the boyfriend was super down for it. I'm not sure why the guy wouldn't just take the thousand dollars and get back with his girlfriend later. Like, what's stopping you? But regardless, it's definitely the meaning behind it. To boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes, we are. Do you love her? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Have you been together for like a long time? Yeah, around five years. Would you leave your boyfriend for a thousand dollars right now? No. <laughs> really? No. Would you leave your girlfriend for a thousand dollars? A thousand? Like I could just take it right now and leave. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? I can't say money. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, damn. Jeez. And this next one, I found this absolutely hilarious how this mom tried cheering up her daughter. Mom, why? I thought you said you'd like for them. Is bringing in like 250, 300K a year. Would you be. In this next we have this guy over here. I guess he decides to use the Uno reverse card on women he's on a date with. Apparently this is his tactic in order for them to like him a bit more. I'm not gonna lie, I do understand it. The thing I like to do is I like to flip the script on girls. I like to say they lines before they say them. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It's like I'll meet a girl, I'll be like, hey, are you gonna buy me a drink or this conversation ain't gonna continue? <laughs> right? Oh. Or I'll be like, listen. That's, that's tough. You feel me? Yeah. I'll be talking to a girl. I'll be like, listen, before you finish, just know I'm not going home with you tonight because I'm not that type of guy. And this next one, I guess this guy who was not paying attention at all to what his girlfriend was saying, but he still definitely means it. Do you look good in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Are you even looking? Yeah, yeah. Do I look fat? Yeah. What the f***? What? I said, do I look fat? 
I said yes! <laughs> and this next one's guy is making such a valid point. I guess this girl wanted him to cut off his hair in order for her to date him. However, he said he can't ever change himself for a woman, and I 100% agree with that. Whew. Would you cut your hair for me? Never. So basically what you're trying to say is that you wouldn't do things for me? No, shall I tell you why? No, go on, tell me why. Because I don't think that you'd appreciate a man who would bend so easily. Oh my god! <laughs> You're good. No, you're good. No, you're good. And this next, we have this man over here, I guess, talking about body positivity, especially for men, because men do have it harder. There is a bunch of things men need to worry about, especially when it comes to size, that you guys both know what I'm thinking about. However, when it comes to, I guess, women just being overweight, the moment a man says anything, we get bashed for it, saying we're not being body positive. How does that make any sense? I'm here on TikTok coming for guys that's below six inches. Something they can't control, man. Guys can't control that. I mean, there's surgery, but who wants to do that? That could go wrong and your people probably will not work no more. That's the thing I realized with a lot of girls, especially girls on TikTok, they be coming for things that guys can't change. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, height. We can't change this We was born this way. <laughs> we was born this way, man. As soon as a guy says, oh man, I don't, I don't like fat girls. Oh my God, you hate women? You don't like fat women? Oh my God, you're a misogynist. Wow. Bitch, shut up. Being fat, you can change that by eating better and going in the gym, so there's no excuse. But my height, I can't change that. So what gives you the right to attack me about something I can't change? But you'll get mad when I say you fat. And this sex with swim is absolutely delusional. And first off, what she is saying, I do not agree with at all. You can't buy your way to becoming beautiful. That's just fake in my opinion. But thankfully, this guy exposed her at the end of it. And this sex, I'm not sure whose bright idea this was. I guess this girl decides to call up her ex in front of all of her friends. Why? I have no idea, but ended up turning out like this. Hello? Hey, can, can we talk for a sec? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's up? Um, I know we've been through our ups and downs, but I still really have feelings for you. <laughs> You're joking. No, what like, am I just am I just supposed to overlook the fact that you fucked my dad? Fuck you. And the sexless girl was at least honest about her preferences and what she says about herself. She's still a huge red flag, though. The oldest guy you'd smash, though. Probably like 30. What if he had a million dollars to spend on you and he's 55? Did you smash? Yes. Would you smash for the money or just because he's good looking? The money. I love money. Oh my gosh. So are you a certified gold digger? I would say so, yeah. And the sexless guy is making such a valid point. I will never understand this about certain women. She unfollowed and blocked you right after you broke up. But she didn't want to block some random guy during your relationship because she didn't want to be too mean. Make it make sense. In this sex one, we have Myron over here. I guess he's talking about how women and men are both different when it comes to status. Women are judged on beauty and men are judged on what they can create. That is 1 million percent true. However, this isn't utilized or realized by women at such a young age. And I feel like they do waste their value at a such a young age. That men are measured on what they create, their income they have, and their status. Women are measured on their beauty. How, you guys live here in Miami. How many dumb do you know that get invited to celebrity parties and or dating guys that are way above them socioeconomically, status-wise? There's a bunch. Mm -hmm. You could be a girl, 21 years old, no accomplishments, get invited to a party with Future and Gunna and everything. He was there, whereas as a man, you have to become a somebody to get invited to these parties. Men and women are not the same, and a woman's value is not based on how much money she earns and her success. If she does, it's fantastic. Good for her. But it does not make her to men, especially a man that makes a lot of money. And this next one, no matter what you do when you come across an OnlyFans girl, act like she's some kind of NPC, and anything that comes out of her mouth is utterly useless. Rate me out of 10. <laughs> Give me like a three? Uh, 300. <laughs> I like a three out of 10. Oh. And your voice kind of just pissed me off, I'm not gonna lie. Pissing you off. Why do you sound like that? Uh, sound like out of an anime, stop. Uh, Talk normal. Yeah, you're kind of annoying, I'm gonna be honest. Oh. And this sex one absolutely loved this clip. This guy tried taking out a girl on the first date. Let's just say she was super picky, so he decides to reject her and do this instead. Definitely a better ending. So I asked this girl if she'd be down to go to Cheesecake Factory on the first date, and she said no. I was like, yo, what about a buffet? She's like, that's even worse. I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to put my money towards this buffet for my parents because I know they love this spot.
Well, that's it, guys. So much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want more content like this, please click the links at the top of the video. You'll see more of it. And it actually does help my channel out a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.